In Microsoft System Center Service Manager, it is very easy to manage the data across the different respective work items, such as incident, problem, and service requests. The challenge is, when you are looking at relative views inside of Service Manager, the preview pane, which is a very understated value within Service Manager, although it does provide really good data, it's not concise, not very tight, and does not really provide the right information at the right time that's relative to what you're looking at. As an example, there's a lot of blank fields here that maybe aren't really relevant on day-to-day -day operation for incident management. And even if there was attachments assigned to this incident, you wouldn't be able to see them. In the same vein, a change management process may have activities assigned to it as sub-processes. In this particular preview pane, although you do see the change management data, you have no idea where the activities are, how many there are, and their current status. In order to see that data, you have to actually open up the change request and go to the Activities tab. Sadison has developed a solution to solve this challenge. With the Preview Pane app, we have rewritten every single Preview Pane to provide the ability for the Preview Panes to be extremely useful and allow for it to communicate the right information at the right time per the reflective work item. As an example, if I take a look at an incident preview pane, you'll now see that the data is much more clear, much more concise, and provides that right information for that incident. And even more exciting, if I take a look at an incident with an attachment, I no longer have to double click that incident to actually see the attachment. I can simply scroll down to the bottom of that incident and open that attachment from the incident. Taking this into process, change requests and service requests have activities assigned to them. If I take a look at a change request with a rewritten preview pane, I no longer have to open up that change request to see the associated activities and their current status. You'll see here, I go to the bottom of this preview pane via the activities link, I will see all the activities associated with this change request the current sequence, and for both review and manual activities, I have the ability to right-click it and move it forward in the process.